So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to your third tutorial for ES6 in which I'm gonna go real quick on what template literals are in ES6 and this is one of my favorite part of ES6 is that is that it brings template literals to the JavaScript finally and what this allows us is actually include all the variables and uh, new lines and tabs and all that stuff into a one single string without even actually closing the outer i don't know we call it back text right so what you can do essentially now is that it was not possible to do something like where well, my message is uh, hey there this would not work right you can even see from the syntax it's it's broken but what es6 allows us is that if you take a close look and replace this single or double quotes with back text you can see that the syntax changes and looks like it would work now if i write my message it is pretty much the same thing the same thing we would do with a back tick but with something like or my message to something like this right which is essentially just escaping the new line character Right, so now it might look a little bit, you know, um, not so important to you because we're just doing it for a very simple example. But essentially, this provides a hell lot of readability in code and uh, kind of bug free as well. If you by chance miss any code, it drives you nuts to find out where it was, right, for especially for long strings. So, what we can do, another thing we can do is that we can create something like a hey, um, let's just say age is 18 and uh, let's just say name is codedam well that's kind of weird codedam is not 18 so we're gonna say our email is something like hello and then what we're gonna do is make use of this dollar and uh, yeah and the variable name inside that right so what this will essentially do is it would just split out the variable value whatever we have inside this name mehul right now so i'm gonna say hey mehul and uh, thank you for joining our side you are eligible as you are above and then we can say age something like that and there we go and hit enter so if i write email now it looks pretty sweet hey hello mail thank you for joining our site and uh, blah 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 so what we would do without the um, string literals is something like this again it starts looking ugly to me right now so we're gonna do something like this and then we're gonna escape a string and then we're again gonna do something like this so it kind of is hard to manage even right now because if you somehow forgot this then your code would break if you forgot somehow this plus then your code would break and all that stuff with es6 template literal it's kind of very easy to write stuff inside it and you can just split out the variables as well split out rather not split but uh, yeah so you again any sort of javascript can go into this code so you can pretty much do something like a var email or you know anything like message three is uh, something like uh, um hello and then inside this dollar and these curly braces any sort of javascript you know any function any method anything you want to call you can just go ahead and do that so yeah that's pretty much how template literals would work in es6 and uh, yeah that's all for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one